Okay, so this is the BN Air motor from Megagen. It's really nice, easy to set up motor. Let's, let's show you the contents of the whole package as you get it. You'll always get, with this particular setup, the um, irrigation stand. And this has a flat end to it right here. Real simple, it just goes in, twist it slowly and insert it gently, don't force it down. It'll find its way in and just, obviously this is for your irrigation bag. You're gonna have the 20 to one handpiece. So obviously the console. And in the box right here, you're gonna have disposable irrigations, which you will get another box as well in your package, okay? You're gonna have the rheostat stand, which then goes into here, so that way you can put your foot here to move the rheostat with your foot, okay? Set that away. You're gonna have obviously the cord. This goes onto the um, stand, actually, for you to be able to put your handpiece on there sterilely, in a sterile fashion. And here's your rheostat setup, as well as your motor cord. So one of the most important parts in this package that you get is the knob. What do I mean by the knob is, <clears throat> it's a really nicely weighted knob, and it's magnetic. As you put it onto the motor itself, it just simply slides right onto the motor. And it's super cool because it's really easy to change your RPM. And this is actually removable, and I want to show you that for a reason, because obviously it's off, on, and as you can see, it just kind of magnetically goes on, okay? And <clears throat> that's for your RPM settings and adjustments really fast and super easy. You don't have to sit there and push a button and push a button and push a button. This quickly turns the RPM and etc. to whatever you want it to set at. So it's super easy to use, okay? And then obviously your irrigation clips as well, which most people don't use anyway. Okay, with the BNR motor that we have that Megagen has privately labeled, you're gonna get the motor cord and the base of the motor cord separately. This is the way it comes packaged in the box. But notice it has threads right there. So really simply open up your package. Set that to the side. What's nice about this is again, you put this here, you put this threaded portion, always everything is gently into this right here and then it has to line up specifically with your grooves. Boom, you saw how it just, I, all I did was I gently, gently inserted it and then twisted it gently and you'll find that it drops down once it finds your settings. And then simply tighten this up nice and snug. Like so. And here's your motor cord. And your motor cord is where the handpiece setting snaps onto this port right here. Now, the beautiful thing about the BNR motor is that your other high-speed handpieces and other handpieces you may have from your restorative office also fits on here with this same type of engaging mechanism, and it makes it completely universal connection. So, if you look here on the box, again, this is your BNR box made in Switzerland. Here it shows your 20 to one micro series motor, or I should say contra angle, all right? So then you simply open this up, put your hand piece out. If I can get it out, nice and tight. Take out all the instructions. Here is your 20 to one handpiece. It's nice and heavy duty. The beautiful thing about it is, is here's your LED port. And this is the engaging mechanism into that area right there. So what you do is you gently, always gently, simply push down and twist. And you'll find the mating, surf the mating points of the connection and this is your irrigation port right there. You simply put your irrigation right there and you run your handpiece ahead of time before you use it. And there's your micro motor put together. So here is your sterile holder. And again, you can sterilize this 
or wipe it down, whichever you prefer. Some people like to just simply wipe it down and put it on there. I'm not gonna, it's completely sterilizable and you can just simply put that right there and it sets nicely like that. Now, so this goes adjacent your motor. So what you do is you simply look for the red dot here on your BNR motor and that is aligning with this red dot right there. And you can see as it aligns, you put that in like simply so, and you just gently, always gently push and just give it a little twidge and, and turn it just a little bit to make sure it's engaged fully. And it'll, it'll mate to where this portion here is flush and the, the red dots are almost connected. So that's fully engaged. All right, so here is your nice big rheostat. The great thing about it is this large foot pedal area. It's for pushing the gas, all right? Now, here's your sterile holder for your foot. So what you do, your foot does, it lifts up here and then you can literally move the rheostat from side to side, sterily. Now what you do here is, you can see your holes there, okay, as far as this engagement here, but notice these are a little bit crooked because it goes into the plastic area and it inserts into the plastic. Now what you can do if you want to make your job easier is, Put a little bit of Vaseline here on the end and it'll slide in easier. Otherwise, you squeeze this together and you put this in evenly. You make sure that both uh, holes are aligned and you push in nice and even. And you wanna make sure it goes in evenly because, there you go. It's lined up, or rather the, the pegs on there are a little bit uh, open. So a little bit of Vaseline is not gonna hurt. And then this is the way it works, how you move it around. So you can move this literally with, your, with the top of your foot and move it separately. Now, this portion here is your portion for that goes into the back. Really simply, what you look for is that line right there, all right? This portion engages the top portion of your female end and The great, the great part here goes in there like so, and you just simply slide it in gently, push until it clicks and stop. And that's it. Here we have the irrigation port. So what we have here, it comes in a sterile package, right? And it is a disposable irrigation port that has everything built into the, to the port for you. So let me just break this down real quick. Open that up. Here is obviously the irrigation spike. You simply pull it off, pull this off, push it into the bag, but you do that last. You always do this portion last. Why? Because you want to put your irrigation bag here. And then when you put your irrigation spike into this, you want to wait till the very last, till everything is hooked up. That way you don't have a leak. Let's do it. Let's, let's, talk, let's basically say that. So if you look at this breakdown here, this is automatic, this particular type of uh, irrigation is set up specifically for these irrigation ports here. Now, here's where the irrigation port comes in. All you do is simply pull this from underneath and it opens, okay? So what you do is you make sure this port here lines up here and it comes in and it automatically, sorry, this port has to be coming to the back. That's how you make sure you're correct. I was about to do it wrong, where this is going like that. All right, so that's not what you wanna do. You wanna do it like this, with this port coming to the back for your irrigation bag here, and this coming down into there, and it nicely interfaces with that right there. You simply push it down to where it's nice and even. There's nothing, there's no further to go. And then you simply close this up like that. That's it. So this goes into the irrigation bag. And this part here goes into your motor right there. Now you have your irrigation. One thing to make, to make note of is see how this portion right here, it's completely together. You cannot see a gap between there. Well, there's a small gap, but it, there's a, there is a, not so much of a gap, but the point is 
Let me open that up. It's not like that, okay? You wanna make sure, and as you push down this, push this down, you simply again push down and twist, and it'll make a union just like that. 